In this video, I'm going to show you something that I wish I didn't have to show you, and that is how we can schedule a meeting for a private channel in Microsoft Teams. And what I mean by not wanting to have to show you this is that I think it should be a built-in feature in Microsoft Teams, but it's not. In a regular channel, I can just go in and I can either meet now or I can schedule a meeting. But in a private channel in Microsoft Teams, that ability to schedule the meeting is not built into Microsoft Teams. So what we have to do is a bit of a workaround, which is what I'm going to show you here. It's important to note that this workaround has two parts to it. So make sure you watch the video to the end, because if you don't do the second part, it's not going to be as functional as we'd like it to be. It seems to me like a really strange oversight on Microsoft's part not to allow us to do this scheduling directly from the private channel, because we often have cases where we want to meet with select groups of students or select team members within an organization. So the private channel is a fantastic way to give them a private area to meet and have conversations. And a lot of those conversations would be based upon having a meeting together. So hopefully this video becomes obsolete at some point and they build that feature directly into Teams. So you'll notice that if I go into a general channel, any of my public channels, I'll have the ability to meet and I'll have the ability to schedule a meeting. And this applies across any of my team channels as long as they're not private. If I go into my private channel, you'll notice I only have the ability to meet. This is incredibly frustrating and I do hope Microsoft fixes this soon. However, there is this workaround and there's actually two parts to this workaround. So stay tuned because there's a bit of a gotcha at the end. The first thing I'm going to do is create a meeting and this is going to be a meeting of one. It's just going to be me. And let's say I'll just call this some sort of daily leadership meeting. So we'll say there's a daily leadership meeting that I'm going to have. And what this will do is generate a URL for this meeting. And now when I join the meeting using the URL, anything that I do in the meeting will be in the channel because that's where the URL is going to be. This will make more sense in a moment. So I could copy the meeting link here, which creates a URL, but it's a little bit, it's not formatted quite nicely. So I'm going to close this and instead go to the ellipse, go to the meeting info, and I'll get a nicely formatted meeting request. So I can copy the join info. So now I've copied the join info for this meeting. I'm going to go into this meeting and just put in uh, maybe a couple of images here just so that we can see that anything I put in the meeting will go into the chat here. I actually have to probably put that in there. So we'll grab this here and we'll put that in there. I could put in some messages in here. I could share different resources that are all associated with the meeting. And of course I could also go in and I could record this meeting. It'll start the process of recording this meeting. And then once I've got the recording of the meeting, once I'm done the meeting, I can go in and I can stop recording. Now, right now, this is just a meeting of one. So there was really no reason to do any of that other than what I wanted to do is demonstrate that when I leave the meeting, you can see within this private channel, all of my resources that I put in here, including the meeting record recording is all there within this one meeting, the daily leadership meeting. Now, if I go into the calendar and I go in to schedule a new meeting, because here I can schedule a meeting, I'll call this daily leadership meeting. So we'll call this the daily leadership meeting. And then what I'll do is I'll schedule it every day. Let's say we're going to have this meeting from 10 a.m. to 1030 every day. We'll put it in every every day. Now, it's also very important that when I put in the invitation that I put in the names of the people that are part of that private channel. So I have two members that are part of my leadership committee. I've put in the two members of my leadership committee. If you have a lot of people that are members of that private channel, let's say 10 or 11 people, then you might want to create an Outlook distribution list that you can send it to. But for now, I have these two members. And when I send out that meeting request, in this case, it's an update. So when I send that out to them, it will now be part of their, their membership. And there is that join button, which we do not want to use. We want to make sure we use the URL. Let's have a look at that. Now I cannot add a channel here because the only channels that will appear here will be channels that are public, not private. Private channels will not appear in this list. So what I'm going to do instead is paste in the URL to join the meeting. And this is critical. We need to join using this URL. So when I save this meeting, it'll go into my calendar. So you can see it here in my calendar. Sometimes what you'll see is a join button here. You do, you never want to click the join button for the meeting. What you need to do is go into the meeting itself. 
So you can double click it to open it up and you want to go in and open the link to join the meeting. Now for those that you invited into the meeting and yourself, if you go into Outlook calendar, you'll see the meetings here. So you can go in, it says, you know, do you want to open it? I'm just going to open this meeting here. And what's critical here is that I join the meeting through this link. Now when I join the meeting through this link, if I go in and put any resources in the chat, if I go and put any resources in the chat, like another image, so it's Friday when I'm filming this, so we go and put another image. When I leave the meeting here and go back into the team, you'll see that the resources, including that image that I just put in there, will actually appear as part of the meeting resources. Notice that it just appends it to the meeting that I had with myself a while ago, and everything in these daily leadership meetings will now be appended to that meeting. Now, if that URL leaks out to someone else, like if they if that meeting URL gets forward to someone, they can join this meeting. So you have to be a bit cautious and just let people know, don't share that URL. And then the other thing is, of course, if I go in my calendar, again, you can see here I've got the leadership meeting. If you see a join button here, you have to train people not to use it because if they join using that method, what will happen is anything that they put into the meeting, such as notes, resources, or anything, will not show up on the team site. That's a little bit of a gotcha that not a lot of folks know about. Thank you for watching. Again, I hope this video was useful. I hope it'll also become unnecessary in the future if Microsoft implements the feature through the simple drop down of schedule a meeting for a private group. If you want to see some more videos on how we can use technology to learn and teach better, I got a lot of them on this channel and I hope you'll consider watching those, subscribing, liking, and doing all those crazy YouTube things that'll help this channel grow.